What up, boys, and welcome back to yet another season of Discovery Gold Guide. So in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about the season three investments. And the reason why I haven't made a video uh, like sooner is because I wanted to update this in the uh, complete gold guide for season of discovery before I made a video on it. So the uh, gold guide is now updated with the best farms and my investments for phase three season of discovery. So if you don't have it already, you can find it with the link down below in the description. And just know that every single time I update this gold guide, uh, you guys will receive the updated version automatically for free sent to your email. So you never miss a single update. So check it out with the link in the description down below. Now, I want to talk about investments for phase three. Now, a lot of people are thinking the same way when it comes to investing in Season of Discovery because the game has uh, been done many times before. Now, there is something that's new. I mean, obviously, it's a Season of Discovery, so there's some investments that make sense now that didn't make sense back in the day. But the general idea of what like items and materials you need for the up-and-coming phase is uh, pretty uh, like pretty basic so make sure that you don't get burned and you invest a lot of gold into items that people have stockpiled and it turns into a clown fiesta because people panic and they just dump it on the auction house and you end up losing a lot of gold but i'm going to talk a little bit and show some examples of uh, investments that i personally think is considered relatively safe so starting off with the most basic is pretty much just investing into materials that's needed to level the professions further from 225. So, for instance, if we take a look at letterworking on uh, like WoW professions, it will list all the materials that's needed to level from 225 and then all the way up to 300. And professions, they do go all the way up to level 300 in the next phase. So, Make sure to go through the different professions, look at the list of materials required in order to uh, to level the profession, and then you can act accordingly. Because there's a lot of cheap materials on the auction house that is obtainable now in phase two that will most definitely go up in value once people need these materials. There's a higher demand for these materials. So that's one way to make gold. Another way is items that's uh, relatively low in value right now because you can't make the, uh, the full use out of them. An example of that is something like wild wine. Now, wild wine today is used and it was quite expensive when phase two first came around because it's needed for the currently best in slot gloves the dreamweave gloves uh, however the vest wasn't this and the headpiece could not be used there's a lot of people who don't have a decent headpiece with spell damage on it but at level 45 you can use the dreamweave head which has increased spell power by 21. more importantly you can craft uh, the green lens. The green lens is an engineering item that used to be pre-raid bis at level 60 as long as it's scaled properly. If it procced with of Shadow Wrath, for instance, it was best in slot, uh, like pre-bis. And then the same thing will happen now, like if it procs with like of Fiery Wrath or of Shadow Wrath, it's going to be quite expensive on the auction now, so people aren't obviously gonna get uh, gonna get off shadow wrath or a fiery wrath every single time so they need to craft a bunch of these bad boys so that requires wild one aquamarine jade and also heart of the wild which also has a decent price or at least had at the beginning of phase two another thing that's interesting is different uh, silk from spiders now one example is the shadow silk which is extremely cheap on Yorkshire's right now because you can drop from super low level spiders that we all farm for the uh, the spider meat so you can make the spider sausage for the supply crate hand in uh, but the item is needed for the shadow weave items where a lot of them they all have shadow spell damage increase uh, but it's like level 42 and then you also have the the headpiece at level uh, 44 so uh the boots are also level 43 so there's way more of these items that will be crafted and used in phase three 
most a lot of people uh, you'd be surprised how many people buy these as they're leveling up as well so that's something that's stupidly low right now and i would be very surprised if it went down either like even further than it has already gone down in value so it's relatively steady something uh that's also interesting but you really got to check the price on this because a lot of people are aware and talking about it as the winter squid that you cannot fish all year around and it's a region for the grill squid which is like best in slot food for a couple of classes so that's also very interesting however most realms at least in the eu has a relatively high price on these the question is just how high will it go right like what will the demand for the grill squid be uh, another interesting item uh, uh, that you could check up on your auction house because a lot of realms do have them up on the auction house at a reasonable price is ghost mushroom ghost mushroom is also going to be a super solid farm in phase three but it's an item that's needed for a lot of cool stuff so you have it's needed for ghost eye in this pot elixir of shadow power which obviously uh like shadow priests will use it's plus 40 shadow spell damage so that's pretty big as well limited on vulnerability pot is also an item that you need the, uh, the ghost mushroom for so very interesting item and then you have something that will be a farm even in the last phase of the game which is the golden pearls golden pearls are needed for a bunch of stuff you need it if you want to enchant your weapon with plus 30 spell damage you need it for the ruined arcanite rod which all the enchanters are going to need and then the other items are high level like none of these crafted items that requires the the golden pearl can actually be used in phase three but the ruined arcanite rod and enchant weapon with spell power uh i'm not actually i can't remember where you get the the formula to craft the uh the shadow spell damage but yeah that's a molten core boss so it's not gonna be uh needed for the uh enchant weapon spell power until last phase obviously uh but people will need the uh the arcanite rod though so um yeah check the price on the golden pearls they went for like 50 gold for a long time in classic era so you could at least check the auction house on the items and see how much they're going for right now. Another general idea to uh, for investments is taking a look at the new supply crates uh, that we have coming. And it's been data mined for phase three. So you have a bunch of items that that's needed for new supply crates. Now these will obviously, everyone wants to be exalted with the new faction. So these are going to be handed in like crazy. They're probably also going to give a good chunk of raw gold and XP. So the materials to craft these items and the material hand-ins themselves could be a very solid investment. Now, last part, similar to the phase two investments, is uh, simply just going on your, your auction house, right? And then let's say you click an armor and then you search for items close to level 50 bracket, like 48 and above, for instance, and you just search for gear pieces and you see if there's anything that would make sense purchasing. Now, a lot of people in my community that's in my guild playing on my realm, I know they're already doing this. So I would be surprised if there's actually like any super good items on the auction house. A warmonger is like a pre-raid bis uh, weapon. Well, at least it was for Huntress because you get a 3% hit and hit is massive. Now that we have a lot of raid items from BFD, no more giving hit chance. I'm not sure if it's going to be that good so i wouldn't invest in this for 650 gold but you'd be surprised of how much gold you can make investing into uh like these high level items that you cannot use at the moment but you can in next phase and then again you obviously want to invest in something that makes sense with good stats or so something that has like strength plus agility or uh, like a fiery wrath shadow wrath and so on you wouldn't buy something just to buy something like you, you shouldn't buy male bracers with plus seven agility and eight spirit like doesn't make sense it's garbage but if you find something with good stats uh like off the tiger for instance uh then definitely look into it and uh, make uh, investments uh, that you can afford right uh, but yeah, a lot of people, including myself, made a lot of gold in uh, in Phase 2 selling items that we bought in Phase 1 that weren't usable in Phase 1. Now, with that being said, that's pretty much my way of thinking about investments, mainly sticking to what I consider to be uh, like a no-brainer materials that will forever be in need uh, when people level up their professions and also uh, some materials that's relatively cheap right now and has a higher 
demand in the future. It's bound to go up. Uh, but you never know. It's always risky because you have no clue. The only thing you cannot control or take into consideration is the stockpile of other people. So you can know that an item is... Uh, doesn't have a, a high demand now the supply is higher than the demand and you know for a fact that's going to change with a new uh new phase because you're going to have a bunch of new additional items needing these materials so there will obviously be a higher demand but you don't know how the supply is going to be like you don't know how many people have been buying out to these uh, materials for instance throughout the entire phase and just waiting for the next phase to hit before they dump them on the auction house that you cannot control that you cannot know that so there's always going to be a risk with that being said though that's pretty much it for uh, this video so i appreciate you guys watching and if you want to stay on top with the latest gold farms of phase three gold making just make sure that you are subscribed to the youtube channel because that way you'll be notified whenever i upload a video and you can of course take a sneak peek at all the best ways to make gold by picking up the uh, complete gold guide for a season of discovery with the link in the description but with that being said appreciate you guys watching and i will see you all back in at tomorrow's video but until then bye bye